Project is House of Lies with Don Cheadle. Oh, yeah. nice! We like Don Cheadle. Yes, Excellent. Yes. And that is boy. Wait until you see this shit. Yeah, yeah. I saw you in a play a, a couple of, last year. Um, it was a, a really great play. Um, what was that play? I forgot. But anyway, you were great. Two, oh, two trains running. Yes. So it here. Yes. We, we did it here. Yes. yes. That's yes, yes, yes. It was great. So thank you so much. Well, thank I'm you. Just so happy. Can I get like? Here with Ms. Hope Foyer. She's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. I am so honored. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so honored. I can't so you're a classically trained soprano? Yes, I am. So I know you've had, I, I don't have an hour or two to talk to you because I know your story is amazing. So for the people who don't know, just, just quickly tell them, you know, what your journey has been. Well, I started in Connecticut in a small town called, well, I was born in Hartford, and then I was raised in Merid Middletown, and then we moved on to Meriden, and, and then uh, my scholarship uh, was given to me when I was in ninth grade to go and study in Hartford Wonderful. at the music, at the Hart School of Music, and then um, they sent me to New York, and I ended up with a lot of stars. <laughs> Yeah, Cafe Society oh, with all of, of the course. wonderful Absolutely. people who performed there. And then from there on to Mexico. Mexico. That's right. That's where your career blossomed after being blacklisted here at the MacArthur era. Yes, it was there. They, you know, here, um, Nat King Cole couldn't hold his own TV show. Exactly. Exactly. And there I had mine twice a week. Wow. Yeah. And uh, it was a great experience that people would jammed and crammed my concerts. My name is Tessa Thompson. And you're honorary tonight. I'm being yes, I'm being honored Are you tonight. I, I am. You know, it's one of those awards that I I wasn't nominated for. They just said we're going to give you this, which so rarely happens, and it's just a treat. So okay. So what do you have next on your plans? Like um, I'm currently recurring on a show called Detroit 187, and I have a couple of things in the works, but it's too early to talk about them. So, but exciting.